Shard Tabletop has a bunch of very cool and super interesting features, but by just knowing the basics, you will find yourself playing and running a Dungeons and Dragons game in a matter of seconds. Hi there fellow role players and game masters, my name is Mr. Tarask and I have my own YouTube channel where I review a Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition content like the books you see behind me and software and all kinds of other content. But today I am your host on the Shard Tabletop YouTube channel and I just want to show you how quickly and how easily you as a dungeon master, as a game master can start running a game and have your players jump in and you guys are just able to have a ton of fun so all you need to do is log in to the uh, shard tabletop main page and create a new campaign by clicking the button new campaign it asks you to uh, name the campaign i will name it isle of the dread that accursed which is by no way a hidden commercial for my own adventure i'm creating together with jvc perry and has been kickstarter and you can still pre-order but anyway you are dropped in immediately into the right screen where you need to be this is your game master screen right all you need to do is upload a map search the web for a map or load a map i'm going to click load a map you can also just click upload a map and it will go to your uh system and you can Upload a map, right? You can also load a map from all the maps. If you click all maps right here in the, in the uh, top right, you um, have all the maps you have access to. Now, I have a bunch because I have like access to almost anything on Char Tabletop, but these are all the maps that I have access to. If you have a free account, there will already be a few maps in there, but you can get you can add like any map you gotten from anybody anywhere into this. And start playing so that's no problem you can also um this is cool this is very handy you can click the environment um like i want an urban map and suddenly you have all of the uh urban environment maps um maybe you want to be more like mountain map right something like this um so for the sake of this video i will i will just be quickly um adding some sort of um example map which this is literally called example map actually you are almost ready to play already all you need to do first you need to set some encounters for your players but you can do that afterwards uh, but let's do that now let's for example um set an encounter like my players will walk in here through here they will see there's a table here there's a pile of bones here there's a fireplace here there's a fireplace there they will not encounter anything here because i um, did this for a previous recording let's say they are going to encounter something right here all you need to do is click your left mouse button right here and click new encounter and let's call this encounter Drago dragoon the dragoon encounter I'm making this up on the fly by the way just to show you how easy and how quickly everything is everything you can do right now is super straightforward you can add um, you can have this uh, um, add a monster for this encounter, which is handy with encounters, let's say a dragon, right? Oh, uh, I misspelled that dragon right here. And you can go all the way down and all the dragons you have access to from the packs and everything you have on Shard Tabletop will be in here. If you have only, if you have like the free subscription or whatever, you will have the standard rules from Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition. So there will be a bunch of dragons in there let's take an adult blue dragon a challenge rated 16 at monster let's take another monster for example let's let's add two monsters for one encounter like one dragon is not enough um i don't know let's just take uh, an animated horse because why not add a monster now there's two monsters there's an animated horse and there is um a blue dragon right it's right here i can have them sit right here and i can they will not be visible for the players until i start the encounter which is really handy i can place them here they are not invisible for the players but if i want to start an encounter and still have one of the creatures invisible all i need to do is click the little thing right here um where it's where it is this little, this little eyeball and some of my stuff is falling uh, uh, next to the screen I'm so sorry for that but that's just the way my screen work for some reason I'm still figuring that out you can click this let's say the player sees the adult blue dragon but does not see the animated horse right here okay um, 
You can add more tokens if you want to the map. Um, you can add treasure to uh, the encounter. Pick a treasure token. You can have, for example, oh, maybe they find it's loading really slowly, but maybe they find um, uh, a treasure or whatever, a book, animated bones, uh, stuff like that. You can add that in there and then have your players discover it. Uh, you can add copper, silver, electrum, gold, platinum in there. No reason, uh, no, not difficult. You can just do that. The entire experience points are right here to the right. You cannot see it, but all you need to do is close this thing and it is right here the dragoon encounter your players don't worry will not see this right now let's add a character in here all you need to do for that is click the invite button all you need to do is inv invite or you send an email to their email address or you uh copy this link to your clipboard and you send that over via whatsapp or discord or whatever all they need to do is click that link uh log in select the character they want uh to join in the campaign and it's done so i quickly went and did that i uh, joined in with one of my own characters just to showcase this thing i can now as a dungeon master uh, add them to the map this player is called this character is called drop dad he's a red folk i created in the last video the video for the players and how to start playing as a player um, and let's say drop dad just walks around right here and he's, he's looking around and and he sees all this stuff and he's a one-man party and there's no problem he's finding stuff maybe even and then suddenly he comes right here and that's where the, you want the encounter to start. It's super easy. You All you need to do is just click your encounter and start encounter. Boom. There it is. Your player, since you put this on invisible, will not see the animated horse, but they will see the blue dragon. For example, if I click right here, this is the player screen. This is what the player is seeing. They are seeing a adult blue dragon, but they are not seeing the animated horse. For example, if you have an invisible creature that shows up invisible until it attacks would be super cool. Uh, but if I want it visible, I just click this thing and then um, like just an eyeball. What, what better to make invis stuff invisible than a freaking eye eyeball, right? So um, all I need to do, like right now, it is visible. And that's it. Now, this is a cool thing. When I go to the uh, player, um, the player screen and the player rolls initiative right here by clicking right here, the player rolls initiative and he rolls a four. It automatically goes right here into a four. Drop that, rolled a four. Now I can have a thousand of these creatures against drop that. All I need to do, oh, all I need to do is click this fist icon right here. Boom. It rolled initiative and it automatically puts everything in the correct order. So handy, so easy, so convenient. Um, the animated horse is first because it uh, rolled 16. The adult blue dragon only rolled an 8 and drop that rolled a 4, which is super super amazingly cool and easy and this is all you need in order to start the encounter now you can just say animated horse is first animated horse goes right here and animated horse rolls a let's see a weapon attack which is a plus six to hit it's right here you click it and you ask your player do i hit you with a 19 he's like no you don't hit me with a 19 you're like oh shit then see the old, old blue dragon's turn you click the old blue dragon there it is the character, the creature just changes. I'm sorry for it falling behind uh, next to the screen, but here is the creature right here, um, and you can just say, okay, it comes up to you and it uses its, um, it uses its, let's say, uh, bite attack. Do I hit you? I just have to click this, the plus twelve right here. Do I hit you with a sixteen? You're like, no, you don't hit me with a sixteen. You have plus twelve. You only rolled four, um, so he misses you. And then drop that turn and drop that can do whatever he wants from the player screen. He can click whatever he wants. You see the rolls pop up. That's how easy it is. Now another thing I want to quickly show you is just a little thing. Um, I don't really like playing with this kind of stuff. I just really like showing the map and making everything invisible until players see it. I don't know why I want to. I always play like that, but that's per personal preference. A lot of people need this fog of war type of thing. Uh, you can click this eye right here. Fog all, not fuck all, but fog all. Um, now the player won't see anything. As you can see, this is the player screen. They won't see anything right so you can 
as a dungeon master, you, there's different ways of doing this, but I really like this way. 10 feet diameter uh, circle from this thing right here. Uh, it's like a brush type of thing. A 10 feet diameter circle. Um, you can make it like this, which adds to the spookiness, right? So the players are now um, seeing uh, this. The player is now seeing this. That's the bit like the fog of war type of stuff. And there is even more really cool features where you can create entire zones of fog, fog of war, fog type zones, which will uh, go open and closed when people go in and people go out. It's really cool. It's really easy to use, but it is for a different video. This video was really to just get you as a dungeon master into Shard Tabletop, uh, get an encounter going. If your players wanna wanna uh, join the game, you you invite them and have them join the game and you are just playing the freaking game so those were the basic tools to get you playing in shard tabletop the next videos will go way deeper into some of the features some of the tips some of the tricks some of the cool stuff they added into it up until then if you have any questions if you have any questions any suggestions make sure to comment them i will try to answer as many comments as i can make sure to hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button and i will see you in the next video